We're off to USC to um, shoot a video for them for their mentor program. Should be good. Come behind the scenes and let's have a look at what we get up to. Beautiful day for it. Sun is shining. Trucks are zooming. Got everything. All right, jump on in. The shoot today is a really typical sort of shoot for me where you're filming someone, they're looking off camera and you're looking for the best responses to form the narrative of the video. You never really know in these situations, um, you know, the talent might be nervous, they might not be the best on camera, they could be amazing on camera, you just don't know. So you have to do your best to make them feel comfortable first and foremost and then make sure you're getting the best responses. So if they do trip, they do make a mistake, that's fine, just, just get it again. It's really important that you don't get nervous behind the camera and, and say, yeah, that was fine, when deep down you know it wasn't fine, because when you get to the edit, you don't have the best material that you could have got. So today is about getting the best responses from your talent and making them feel comfortable. Just a quick breakdown in terms of what I mean about making a client feel comfortable. You don't get a second chance at a first impression. So make sure you smile, break the ice, and just talk about how their morning was or something not related to the shoot. The last thing you wanna do is get into the shoot and all the details and nitty gritty things and just build stress on what is already something that they're probably not that keen to do. Most people don't like being in front of the camera. So break the ice and make them feel relaxed and comfortable straight away. This is an outdoor interview and all you really need for those is three pieces of equipment. You need your tripod for the interview, you need your gimbal for some b-roll and you obviously need your camera to film it so that's all you really need. All on black decaf, yeah. is that right? Yeah. All right, I think we've found a good spot here that's fairly quiet. Um, out of the wind and uh, a bit of greenery, it should look really nice. Um, I'm going to put on my 70 to 200 lens. Very handy to pack one of these in your kit for your base plates. I'm choose using this lens because, in my opinion, it's one of the best Canon lenses there is. It's super sharp and it just looks beautiful. For interviews, you, you get really nice depth behind the subject. Um, it's just very sharp on the actual face. So I've got my spot, it's looking good. I'm gonna sit in myself and just sort of record and then see what it looks like. I don't wanna be wasting the talent's time, so I wanna see if it's a good shot first before they get hit. So let's have a look. The subject's gonna be looking just off camera like this, so it looks good, Kenny? Yep, sweet. So we've found our spot, seems quiet. Um, lighting's good, getting nice natural reflection off this building over here. Get a shot of that, Kenny, actually. Look at this, beautiful. That's just giving me this beautiful natural flecky that's then reflecting onto the uh, subject's face and that is beautiful. So the shot's set up, the lighting's looking good, comfortable, out of the wind, all looking fine. The other thing you wanna get right is your audio. Now I'm using lapel mics today. I use the Sennheiser. I'll show the details on screen. I find it super reliable, really good range, really good quality, and very easy to set up and a long battery life. So I wanna make my job as easy as possible and keep the quality high. And I feel like this lapel does that for me. All right, here you can see the interview set up. The client and I are almost side by side. I'm a touch behind her shoulder, and then the subject is a few meters in front of us. The reason for the distance is because I'm using a zoom lens and we're outdoors, so I've got the space to use it. I love this 70 to 200 millimeter lens because it's so crisp, and so when I'm outdoors, I might as well use that lens and use the space to make sure we've got this really nice sharp interview. The other thing you really have to look out for when filming interviews, whether it's indoors or outdoors, is getting the right responses. You want the subject to rephrase the question in the answer. Let me give you an example. So if the question was, how long have you been in the program for? You don't want them just to say two years. That will give no context once you're in the edit. You want them to say, I've been a part of this program for two years. We straight away know what they're talking about and you can put that anywhere you like in the edit and it will make sense. Make sure the person asking the questions knows about this rephrasing technique before the shoot. Look, they might forget during the shoot, which often happens because it is a little bit unnatural, 
but don't be afraid to chip in and just say, hey, can we get that answer again? Because I really need that rephrasing to give context in the edit. So I've got the interview and now we're setting up for some B-roll shots, some cutaway shots that will help aid the, uh, the end product of the video. And uh, running a 50mm gimbal, go for some walks, look at some art, get some shots. Directing talent with B-roll, I try and make it as natural and authentic as possible. I don't want to try and act. I don't want to try and like get them to become a, a, an award-winning actor. I just want them to maybe walk from A to B, just do something that they might do in their everyday life. So yeah, that's the key. Make it look as, as normal and natural as possible. Don't get them to act. That's a wrap. That was a really successful shoot. Got, got a great interview, some really clean B-roll. Yeah, really happy with that. And uh, we're filming the rest of the interviews tomorrow. Back to the edit suite. Thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of that and I hope you've got a little bit more confidence now for the next time you're filming an interview outdoors. If you like these videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time.